When you want to save the changes you've made in the editor, you use the Deploy button. This causes the editor to export your entire flow configuration in its JSON format and send it back to the runtime. What the runtime does next will depend on the type of deploy being done. This video looks at the options available and considers when you'd use them. The default option is a full deploy. This causes the runtime to stop everything that is currently running and then restart it all using the new configuration. Every single node and flow is stopped and then restarted. The next option is called modified flows. With this deploy type, the runtime identifies any nodes that have been modified, as well as all of the other nodes that are wired to them, and it restarts just those. All other nodes are left untouched and continue running. The final option is called modified nodes, which causes the runtime to only restart the nodes that have been modified. The modified nodes and flow options are useful when you have flows that you want to minimize how often they get restarted whilst continuing to develop other parts of your flows. For example, you may have flows that initialize hardware or connect to rate limited web APIs. By restarting just the bits that have changed, you can ensure the unmodified parts continue running without any disruption. A full deploy is useful to reset the state of the runtime back to a known starting point. The deploy menu also provides the option to just restart the flows in the runtime without deploying anything from the editor. This is useful when you want to explicitly restart things without having to make any changes first.